Hey folks, today we're going to talk about how to add an Adobe Spark video to your Google site or your digital portfolio. So the first thing that we need to do is go to Adobe Spark and um, obviously create a video. So I've already got one that I've created here and I called it Book Talk. I'm going to go ahead and open that up so that uh, it's in the editing mode. And I can just close this tutorial out if it pops up. And here's my book talk. So um, what I'm going to do first is download this Adobe Spark video to my Chromebook. So I just have to click on download and it'll take a few minutes. So we're not going to open it right now we are going to actually go to our Google Drive. So go to Google Drive and hopefully you've created a folder that is for your portfolio. Uh, like I mentioned in the earlier video, it just makes it so easy when you know everything you need is right here in this one folder. You don't have to go looking for it every time. So I'm gonna upload that video that I just created called Book Talk into this portfolio. And the way that I do that is click on the New tab, and I'm gonna choose File Upload this time. And then I'm gonna look through all my downloads and I'm gonna choose the video that I just downloaded and it takes just a second and there it is. So one thing that we discovered about downloading and then uploading to our Google Drive is that it takes a little while for this video to process. All right, so now it's working. It's changed from that placeholder to an actual uh, thumbnail image of some of the images in my video. So now I know that it is ready to be worked with. So now I can double click to open it up and it'll automatically play. So I'm gonna pause it right now because I don't need to worry about it playing. What I need to do is change the sharing permissions. This is super important. You cannot skip this step or people that are looking at your portfolio will not be able to see the video. So to do this, we go to the three dots in the top right hand corner. And when we click on them, we're gonna go to the share. So we're gonna click on share and it pulls up this little window. What we need are the advanced settings down here in the bottom corner. We're clicking on advanced. So right now, it is set to private, which means I'm the only person who can look at this video. So if I tried to pull it up on a different computer or I tried to share it with someone, they would not be able to see it. Only I can see it. So we need to change that and it only takes a second. We just click on change and then yours has a few less options than mine does, but we are gonna choose the one that says on Weber School District. So anyone at Weber School District can find and access. So we're choosing that one and then we click Save. So now when we have this sharing settings, we can see that it says Weber School District can see instead of where before it said private. And we're going to click Done. And now we're going to be ready to share that video onto our portfolio. So step three is adding it to our e-portfolio, our digital portfolio. So I'm going to open my portfolio that I've been working with. And since this is a book talk trailer, I'm going to add it to my English class. So find where you're going to add it. I'm going to English. And now I have my page for English. So I'm going to choose the fastest way I think to do it is to choose one of these layouts. And I'm going to choose this one because I have one video that I'm going to add. So I always like to add some text because just a picture or just a video doesn't explain anything. So I'm going to give it a title here and then I'm going to explain
I'm going to explain whatever it is that I did in the video. All right, now we're ready to add our video. So we go to plus and we are going to add it from our Google Drive because we've saved it to our Google Drive. So we add from Drive and we're going to find our portfolio folder which is why it's so nice to have that portfolio folder. I don't have to dig through everywhere to find it. So this is the book talk trailer we added just a few minutes ago. We're gonna double click on that and it's there. So now I can close this out. And if I wanna make sure that it's working, I can come up here to click on the preview button. And now this is what people who visit my site will see and they will be able to click on it and watch the video that I just uploaded. I just read Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. So there you go. Easy, right?